part of Melbourne. Daryl Gurney will get us underway. Got to the final in America last month against Dave Marland, uh, who comes from Cronulla uh, in Sydney, um, making his TV debut here in Melbourne. But, yep, to our uh, left is the Rod Laver Arena. Over to the right, Amy Park, where the Melbourne Storm play. Storming through the NRL in Australia, top of the league, about to become minor premiers and uh, favourites to win the grand final. And then just behind us, the iconic Melbourne cricket ground. Uh, some city buzz uh, for sport, uh, and I know how you'll enjoy this. You love your darts. That I do, and, and a good evening to everybody. Thanks for having us on here, Stuart, and thanks for that wonderful introduction from Adam Peacock. And a good morning to everybody back in the UK as well. But uh, fabulous to be here and uh, we're looking forward to another smashing competition. Yeah, uh, fantastic weekend in first New Zealand. Leg goal in Auckland. To first leg Are we going to see another Team Aussie off. final? Will world order be restored at the darts? We shall see. But Kyle Anderson against Corey Cadby was something else. Uh, and Gurney will get us underway. And what a moment for uh, Dave Marland as well. Uh, but storms in Sydney today, winds gusts of around uh, 110 uh, kilometres an hour, 70 miles an hour in the UK, and 100. many flights cancelled, and one of the flights cancelled, uh, poor Dave Marlin's wife Heidi, stuck in Sydney, was coming to Melbourne uh, for her husband's big night, 96. and unfortunately the flight was cancelled. So he's here on his own, they're watching back home at, on, uh, on the TV. Lucky we travelled yesterday, Stuart. Hey, he's made a good start. Oh, there we go. Oh, Very good start. Oh, well, that's terrific, isn't it? He, uh, he owns and runs his own real estate business uh, in the Sutherland suburb of Sydney. 32. Yeah. The terrific crowds expected here in Melbourne over the next three nights. The first ever Melbourne 100. Darts Masters and, and long overdue to. Well, Gurney on a finish despite uh, the maximum from Marland. 39. Now you're going 145. Disappointing darts from the Aussie after the 180. Treble 15 would be good. 104. Now you're going 150. So Gurney will be back to win the opening leg, he hopes. 100. Now you require 41. Top night guaranteed in Melbourne. Eight matches to come. Double 16 for Gurney. Only the, the one dart. Consistency there from Game Gurney. On. He's been terrific all year, to be fair, Mark. Really a breakthrough year for Daryl Gurney. After he reached the World Championship quarter final. The UK Open semi-final, getting through to the US Masters final, up to number 12 in the world. It's all going 58. pretty well for him. Yeah, I hear all the, the fancy dress shops in Melbourne have been doing a roaring trade over the last three or four days. <laughs> they have. Well, since he's been coming down here from Sydney, it really has taken off. It's taken it to a different level. Very, very popular sport here in Australia and uh, you guys coming down here and that's just taking it to a different level and Melbourne being the sporting capital well here we go yeah Melbourne being the sporting capital have obviously looked at how successful this and said we'll have a bit of that please could be another one here for Marland there we go second one already Is it a rightful claim that, that Melbourne has a sporting capital with all these iconic 
Being, uh, being, born, being born and bred in Sydney is very difficult for me to say this right now, <laughs> Stuart, but uh, yes, they have the Grand Prix here. Um, they have the iconic MCG, like they have the Australian Open Tennis. Um, so right at this moment in time, yes. 122. Now we have well done. What a lag this from Dave Marlin. Certainly showing Daryl Gurney. This may not be 60. a pushover. Maybe Huge achievement, 50. you know, for Marlon to be here because ostensibly he's just an amateur. For one all. Double ten. Ooh, big chance there. Nerves, I think. Well, he will get another chance here, Marlon. 54. They require 20. Settle him down. Debut on a big darting stage. Fifteen. That's purely now down to nerves and pressure. 56. Must be. Must be. Go. 0 You get punished oh, by the top professionals, and that's what's happened there. Five the darts for, for Dave Marlin. Daryl Gurney only needed the one. Yeah, it's a fantastic city back in the day. A long, long time ago, back in 1994, I was privileged to be here covering the Boxing Day Test match at the MCG, and Shane Warne famously. Uh, took a hat trick as Australia beat England as they tended to do in those I, days. But I, I know, I know where you're going, with this, Stuart. Yeah, you, you, you like to talk about cricket right now because yeah. uh, things are going. Things quite may be different. This very different. In Australia. Very, very different. They have been for quite some time now, since <laughs> 2005. But I went on a on, on a, a, a tour around the MCG earlier in the week. It's, it's astonishing. Even empty, it, it gives you the tingles. It's a fantastic place. It does. And, and to be fair to AFL, the Australian Football League, the Aussie rules, as they call it over here, they pretty much pack it out 90. every time they play there. Um, you know, like tonight uh, in Sydney, we've got South Sydney playing the, the Warriors at ANZ where they had the Olympics in 2000. For well, people don't know, but there's probably only about 15, 16,000, which doesn't look very, very good in such a big stadium. But the AFL... Collingwood will be playing there tomorrow, the biggest supported uh, sporting franchise in Australia, and they'll get 70 or 75,000 people. Yeah, hopefully going. Collingwood and 44. Geelong. I don't know who they're playing. You, you probably know more than me, yeah, but I know definitely Geelong they're playing. Tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Melbourne and Brisbane on Sunday. Yeah, I think quite a few of us are going to take in an AFL game before we move on to Perth. Winner of this, by the way will play either Gary Anderson or Justin Thompson in the quarterfinals. Back in the day, Justin Thompson was one of the best players in Australia. More about him a little later on, but 60. I think Gary Anderson desperate to to right the wrongs of Auckland when he lost in the first round to an inspired Kyle Anderson. 135. You just feel here, Boz, that Marland has missed his opportunity with all those uh, missed darts at doubles in the second leg. Well, definitely. And he'll be thinking about that right now. You know, really, he's 2-0 down. He could be 2-0 up. Maybe he's a little bit more 14. clinical if he's finishing, but he's not. Um, yeah, yeah. Three out of three on the doubles for Daryl Gurney. He hasn't missed. Five missed doubles. Just like Letting one through your legs as a goalkeeper, I would imagine. <laughs> but you'd know all about that. <laughs> Thanks, Stuart. I really appreciate that. You still get back to the UK as well, don't you? I do, every year. Um, this year has been the only year that I haven't been back in the last probably about five or six years because, uh, well, here we go. Oh, 140. Yeah, my, my partner had our second child, so he was only, at that time, June, July, we were in the five or six months. So um, she turned around and said, well, you can go if you want to, but I'm not going. This is too difficult for me. So I said, fair enough, no problem. So we stayed here it's, uh, for, for this uh, summer uh, in the Northern Hemisphere or winter down here. And so many memories, of course, of, of your time in England. Some good, some not so good, but... 
Cuts the line, shouldn't we? Exactly. Uh, great memories. Overall, great memories. Wonderful time. Uh, great people. Um, 20 years of, of my life was a major part of my life. And uh, not ruling out coming back as well. I'll see how Brexit goes. <laughs> 99. Well, Gurney looks as like he's taking control of this fourth leg as well. 171. Brilliant 171. May not have hit a, a maximum, but a, a 95 average at the moment. Just too good for this Aussie opponent. 62. How are you going? 132. Now will he go for the bull? Oh! Why not? That Your opponent's good. back on 270. That was good. The black down to throw first. Game on. Yeah, terrific from Gurney. 303 with six darts. Fantastic 171. The 132 on the bull. And Stuart, 15 years now, doing doing the darts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Just must be very, very proud to see how it's taken off all around the world. It's amazing. If you'd have asked me back in 2003 at the Easy World five. Match playing Blackpool when I when first picked up the darting microphone, it, just incredible. You know, and the, and, and the interest worldwide, uh, the experience to go back to America and Las Vegas, and got a great chance of. Of succeeding over there and I know that, that uh, the PDC chairman Barry Hearn very keen to, to succeed in China and 41. I think the sport knows no bounds and I, 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 I remember back to the to the financial slump 60. 10 years or so ago uh, the financial crisis around the world Dart survived it you know, and, the crowds are getting bigger. The World Championship at the Alexandra Palace is not far off being a sellout already. You know, it's... People love the darts. They love the darts in Australia as well. We go to Perth next weekend. Mm. But they've been desperate for a World Series event in Melbourne and... 43. They have it. And they're supporting it. Big crowds expected over all three days. It was really unveiled in Australia during the 80s. We used to have a show on, on, on one of the channels over here called A Wide World Sports. And uh, it was like basically five hours of sport during the whole week. 17. And uh, the, the great days, the early days of Eric Bristow and so forth, we used to you know, watch it continually. And in popularity, those are the times it really, really did take off. But the tournaments we had in Sydney, and like I said, and uh, now it's in Melbourne, Perth. Um, it's really taken on a new level. And Fox Sports, of course, takes all the darts, doesn't it? Yeah. Gets some great figures, great viewing figures. The interest is... Of course, the interest will just get bigger and bigger when Kyle Anderson and, and Corey Cadby are yeah. producing 16. brilliant finals like they did in, in Auckland last weekend. And well, well, that's the ultimate aim for Australians, you know, to have a world champion. Um, and that's pretty much in every sport. Uh, and Australians love their sport. There you go. Yeah, Gary is five out of five on the doubles. Yeah, because, you know, the two most popular sports, I say three most popular sports here are AFL, like I said, Aussie Rules, Rugby League and Cricket. Of course, out of those three sports, they don't really play worldwide. So when they have a sport that is a worldwide 60. event, like the football, uh, like the Olympic Games, like something like this, they need to have somebody they can really follow or a team that they can really follow that can compete with the best of the world. And I think that will be, here we go again. Wow. Yeah, this is some performance from Darrell Gurney now. 97 average. Hasn't missed a dart at a double. Is it going to be the perfect six for Gurney as he chases a whitewash? Yeah, I think Marlon will be disappointed. His chance came and went in that second leg. First two legs. First two legs had a wonderful opportunity. The first amateur from 100. New South Wales to qualify for a World Series event. He'll be hungry for more, I'm sure. This could be a third maximum. Wow. Well done. He's got something to well remember done. the night exactly. by for sure. Fifty. 
Swatting a fly away. 60. Oh, you're born 164. Can he finish it? Sixty-four. To leave a hundred. Well, this will bring the house down in Melbourne. Got a chance, but Gurney here with darts for the match. Will it be six out of six on the doubles? Yes, it is. Well, Dale Gurney at the end, it's six out of seven. It was, uh, it was all.